So, I go praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bless your mouth, Shabbat Shalom, God of death. And double honors to the hours and parts of the great most holy Thomas Truth. And peace, blessing, and salutations to hope for that. And, um, here I'm in this, this video is basically uh, dedicated to um, Kakam Banyamin. The reason why is because we were chatting and he was like, he was excited about spiritual power. And then he asked, <clears throat> I wonder how the people are going to feel when they actually see it before their eyes, man. And I was like, I had a dream on that, man. But I've had multiple dreams, but yeah, I'm just <clears throat> I'm gonna bring them out for edification sake because Kakam said he wants you to um know the details. But um yeah, let's let's start with the first one. And in this dream <clears throat> basically flew to Babylon. I want to say Babylon, I mean America. And the reason why I knew it was America <laughs> was because of the tallest buildings that reached all the way up into the skies. They were very tall and very big. <clears throat> and not only that, the roads, the roads were extremely big. <laughs> I, I, see, I ain't seen roads like that before in my life. The roads were massive, man. <clears throat> but yeah, I was descending down <clears throat> from the sky and the onlookers or the, the, the people that were down there, they were looking up and watching me come down. And what I could see was their eyes widened and their mouths open. <clears throat> and they were shocked, man, at what they saw. <clears throat> and even then, <clears throat> The heathen, <laughs> they, they're not, what's, what's the word called, man? They, they think so lowly of Jake. Like, like, like Jake and shit. They, they think so lowly of us. <clears throat> like we're incapable of having such power. Like we're incapable of having knowledge, wisdom and understanding. And I've, I've, I've had it many times. Especially when I'm out there teaching. <clears throat> And some, some dude, also say some random dude who I don't even know, will come up and they'll be talking to me and then, and I'll be backing out the <laughs> knowledge, wisdom and understanding by way of the Rakaku Dash or the Holy Spirit. And they're shocked, man. They're shocked that I know this. And the first thing that comes out of the mouth, wait, how do you even know all this? Is the Lord, man. And the scripture is saying, man. <clears throat> Psalms 147 and 19. It says, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not doubt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> and it's, it's going to be like that even now, man, in today's age. Like, literally, these, these human or these other nations, they're not expecting us to be great. Why? Because we're being brought very low, man, as the curse is saying, man. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I was saying, I was there basically floating while all these people were looking, looking at me. And, um, <laughs> <clears throat> and, and here comes the judgment part. Here comes the judgment part. <clears throat> I started shooting out laser beams from my eyes and these laser beams just cut through the buildings like it was nothing man. <clears throat> like Im imagine a butter and then you dip or should I say you put a flame to a samurai sword and you see how easy it, was, you see how easy it is for a samurai sword to cut through butter especially a hot one like that's how that's how it was, man. The, those, or should I say, that fire that was coming in my eyes, or that concentrated fire that was coming in my eyes, it, it, it was very hot. And the reason, and the reason why I say that is because <laughs> it was going through the buildings like it was nothing. I was, I was cutting everything down. I was mowing everything down. And then <laughs> I turned my eyes on the people, man. And I started... <clears throat> 
all, all I can say is it, 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 it was as Brightburn. If you, if you watch Brightburn, the, the movie, you see you see the little dude actually burning people with his, his laser vision. That, that, that's what happened. <clears throat> and even then, that description is same, man. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Says, Behold, I'll send for many fishes, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Going into the prophets, going into them gathering of every kind, and the Lord keeping the ones that are part of his electman. <clears throat> and it says, And after I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And that's going to be the house of David, man. The house of David are going to be turned from fishes or fishes of men to hunters. <clears throat> and the house of David are going to be executing judgment, man. And also, let me get this. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Actually, now. Let me start in 19. <laughs> it's like the result, yeah, it says, The portion of Jacob is not like them. Yeah, being in that small remnant, man. Which part of that small remnant is the house of David. Going into the 144,000 or the servants of the Lord. <clears throat> it said, For he is the form of all things. Yeah, because we're the sons of God. <clears throat> and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horses and his, and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. <clears throat> and I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Saudi all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord Yahweh So, <laughs> like I mentioned, when I came over to Babylon. To execute judgment, man. Like I said, man, I was chopping down buildings like it was nothing. And then, like I said, man, I turned up, I turned up on, I turned my vision up on the people, and they got burnt up. <coughs> huh. the beloved brother, you on me, But I'm carrying on. That was just one of the dreams, and I have another dream. Where I was basically um, going to camp <laughs> and I decided to fly there instead. Man. <laughs> and while I was flying, I pulled out my phone and I went on to YouTube and basically I went to go check my, my videos to see if, if I've uploaded everything recently. Because <clears throat> that's something I like to do. I want to see if I've basically not uploaded for how many days because I, I, I don't know about you but my perception of time is completely different man. like <laughs> a, a day to me could feel like two or three days gone by it's, 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 it's weird man <clears throat> but yeah I was basically flying and basically checking my YouTube channel and I had at least like twenty k um views and like five k likes, and this was the average. This was the average on on, on the videos that I would get. <clears throat> and <laughs> like I said to the bro, I come but yum yum man. Like we gonna have fame because of the spiritual power, and even that. Knowing the house of David or knowing the ministry of the prophets, they love you how much you man was shy. So, with 
this extra thing that they've got, they're going to exalt Yahweh Hashem HaOshai even more. <clears throat> and even the prophets of old told us to do so. She's asking us for you free. <clears throat> I'm 29. You know what? Uh, let me start. Uh, let me start 28. It says, How shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. The Lord is terrible and very great. And marvellous is his power. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when you exalt him, put forth all your strength. And be not weary. For you can never go far enough. So yeah, man. <laughs> you think the Lord reaches his limit, but nah. <laughs> there is no limit to your how verse and how The Lord gonna keep. <clears throat> far exceeding our expectations, man, and what what we know, and that's why the kingdom's <laughs> going to last, literally, from generation to generation, or should it, or you could even say infinity, and even then the scripture said that the Lord can number the days of infinity, so even longer than that, <clears throat> like it's just going to keep going and going. Why? Because the Lord's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is literally. What's the word, man? Unmeasurable. And even then. Isaiah 40 and 28. It says, has thou, has thou not known, has thou not heard of the everlasting God, the Lord, Yehovah, Shema, which the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might he increases strength even if you shall faint and be weary and the young men shall early fall but they that wait upon the lord yahweh shall renew their strength they shall mount with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint so yeah when the lord gonna give power man to his servants <laughs> and, and like i was saying man like, spiritual power is so rare, it's, it's, it's not common. Hence why brothers are going to have fame, man. And they're going to see a spike in the YouTube channels, man. It's, it's going to fly all the way up, man. They're going to get hella views and hella likes, man. And hella shares. <clears throat> like, all, all you got to do is ask yourself, who do you know on this earth that can fly without technology? Well, we know the angels and the, the, the Lord, or should I say the Lord's being how about Shem I would share. <clears throat> but other than that, on, on, on this earth, and literally no one. So when people see it with their own eyes, they're going to marvel, man. They're going to marvel and they're going to lose their minds. And of course, the scoffers these days, man. Well, let's get said in the, in the last days there shall be scoffers, <clears throat> and don't be surprised when you have people <laughs> talking about, oh, your powers of Satan. Like that's something they're going to say, man. They they're literally going to say we're, we're doing magic or, or witchcraft, or no them they're going to say black magic. <clears throat> but even then, man. We're going to be in these terrestrial bodies, man. When that, when that power comes. <clears throat> so I can make some mention, man. Isaiah. Isaiah 59. And, nine, and it says, So shall you feel the name of the Lord, Yahweh, but Shema, which shall from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun be in the east. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, meaning to come in at all angles, meaning there's no way out. <clears throat> the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shah shall lift up a standard against him. You know, being spiritual power. So that power will come when there's no other options. When <clears throat> Esau decides to come down like a mammoth, sparing none. 
when Esau decides he's had enough of doing witchcraft and is just going to return back to what he knows, which is the sword. <clears throat> and those troops are going to come. Man. Oh, and that's another thing. I've, I've, I've had many dreams concerning these martial law troops or even soldiers, man. <clears throat> and literally, the time where I got power was when my life was on the line. I'm going to say my life was on the line. I mean, there was no other options. There was no escape. <clears throat> there, was, there was literally no escape, man. I remember one dream, these um, Ishmaelites, they came to my house. Heh. <laughs> And literally, they had guns. They were, they were dressed up in military uniform. And they came into my house, man. And I, and I was in my kitchen, just making a little meal. And they basically pointed their guns towards me. And was like, we heard that you don't believe that our God's real. So basically, they're saying, I don't believe that Allah's real. <clears throat> and they basically told me to get on my knees. And I got on my knees. And, um... One put, um, it, it was a revolver. It was, it was a roller, rev, revolver, a six shot. And he put it to the back of my head. <clears throat> and it was basically saying, I gotta say that Allah's real. And to be honest, at that point, I, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> what happened was, the spirit of the Lord came upon me, man. Like I felt this surge of energy. I felt this heat. <clears throat> and I felt this power, man, of coursing through me. And all of a sudden, pff, I, 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 I'm not going to go into details, but all I'm going to say is <clears throat> when I was done with them, there was body parts all over the place and blood sprawled across the floor and walls. <clears throat> And then this is this this is the, the most important part. <clears throat> I followed one of the um soldiers I was trying to get away and I basically grabbed him <laughs> and I said to him, You're going to know that your Hawaba Shimahawa Shai exists. That's that's what I said. You're gonna know you exist, man. And then proceeded to throw this soldier fire as hell so I, I had super strength too so I, and, and I threw this soldier so far to the point <clears throat> it's, it's, how can I explain it man um, you know like when in a video where the camera angle follows the thing that's moving basically that's what happened now look at the time 9.44 oh yeah like I was saying it was following the guy that I threw, and I ended up throwing him to the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> and we, we, we all know what, what was going to happen. Either he got crushed out, or get the ghost on impact, or he's up there breathing, and even then he's going to die of, of, of suffocation, or lack of air, or due to the cold temperatures. <clears throat> And yeah, man, let me think. Oh, yeah, this one as well. Uh, I rarely bring this one out. But, um, the dream basically concerns me and my family. And I basically descended down from the heavens. And I was wearing a white robe. <clears throat> and this was from a first person view. And what I was doing was, um, I looked down and I saw my mum and my two brothers standing there. And my eyes were like, not telescopes. Is it, wait, yeah, telescopes. Or you, or you know, like a phone camera or um, one of them pro cameras where, where it zooms in. And you can zoom in from far away. <laughs> it, was, it was like, my eyes were like that, man. It should be zoomed into their faces. Um, what I saw was 
the eyes open wide, mouth open wide, and what I saw was a god, man. <clears throat> and even then, I proceeded to let them know that Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai have made me a god or made me a power. <clears throat> and then, um, after I spoke those words, I began to clench my fist. And when I clenched my fist, <clears throat> lightning came down from everywhere. When I say everywhere, as far as, far as the eye could see, lightning was coming down. <laughs> it, it, it was a wonderful dream. And the good thing about that, it was at night. So it, it, imagine all that light, man, <clears throat> and all that glory. And that was given from me, how about Shem, how about Shai, man? Is it, the Lord's going to do all these things, man. This, this isn't of our own power or our own might or our own knowledge. <clears throat> it's all because of your how about Shem, how about Shai, man. And your how about Shem, how about Shai will be exalted when that power comes, man. And the people are going to marvel. And they're going to be speechless. <clears throat> but yeah, man. I hope this is an edifying one. Give a praise on them. Glory to you. Hell bless him. Have a shout out. Shemakrakadash. And shalom.